Sadly, we are coming up near the end of the game, and there is not a whole lot left that we can do while we are child Link. This video is going to be me doing a bunch of odds and ends in the game that you can still do as child Link. Basically, I'll be getting heart pieces, and hey! Magic beans! You can plant magic beans, and they will grow into a giant beanstalk, which you can then climb in order to steal the giant's golden heart. Every time you talk to this man, he is going to give you magic beans, or he's not going to give them to you. You have to give him money in order to get magic beans, and he ups the price by 10 rupees for every piece you buy. There are 10 magic beans in total, and basically it would take a really long time if I showed you me buying all of the magic beans, so I'm just going to stop the magic bean buying right there. Over here at the end of Dora's Domain, you can borrow a Kuko, and you can fly in order to get a piece of art. I believe Link can fly. With the cuckoo we can touch the sky. Oh, and over here we have some frogs. Yeah, you stand here and you can play music for the frogs. Frogs like music, right? I remember watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. They had the uh, singing frog choir for no apparent reason. So, that's your hint to play the Ocarina of Time here and play songs for the frogs in order to get 50 rupees per song. I always thought this was kind of a weird challenge. I don't know who came up with the idea of having frogs that grow bigger when you play songs. When you play the Song of Storms, the frogs are going to be extra happy, and instead of giving you rupees, they give you a piece of heart. Okay, so when all the frogs have been made gigantic, look at us, we're all huge frogs. We are the world famous fabulous five froggish tenors. Ribbit. Make us jump so we can catch the bugs. Ribbit. You know, that sounded oddly like the song of healing from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Anyway, the frogs are all full of flies, except for the one in the back that didn't get any flies whatsoever. Poor Mr. Frog. And Link gets a piece of heart. I've gotten 50 Skulltulas, 51 Skulltulas by now. So everybody is healed. And of course, the person who's just been healed gives us a piece of heart. Everybody's been healed, and now they're... Whoa! Not everybody has been healed? That's right, this man here, he only gets healed when you defeat all 100 Golden Skulltalots. 
That's a lot of work, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Let me know if you guys want to see me do that. Let me know if you want to see me get all the heart cases, destroy all the gold skulls, and uh, go through the bonus dungeon at Gerudo's Fortress. That sort of thing. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. Let me know what you want to see me do. And when you throw bombs inside the Goron vase here in Goron City, the vase will start spinning and then it will spit out things and after a couple of times you will get a piece of heart. Excellent, so hey, let's check out the uh, Goron shop. I don't think I've been here once in this video walkthrough. Um, there's really not much inside the Goron shop. We have bombs at rip-off prices. And the lazy store owner. Here in the Desert Colossus, you can um, go to this patch of soil. And you can drop some bugs at the uh, small patch of dirt. You can do this for any of the patches of dirt in this game, all ten of them. When you drop a jar of bugs, the bugs will crawl into the hole and turn into a Skulltala. You can also drop magic beans inside the holes in order to get magic bean stalks. As I said earlier, just skip to the future and the beans will turn into a little beanstalk thingy. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. See? We have a magic beanstalk. It, it flies. We're soaring and flying. Then we're gonna get ourselves a new heart piece. Excellent, excellent. And now let's go back and finish the second half of the Spirit Temple as Adult Link. 